Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, I want to make it a short and snappy video about something that you can do to help your child perform better in the maths SATs tests. Um, I'm going to do a series of these really quick win short videos um, that should be things that we can sort of help the children with quickly, um, even because there's not very much time left until the SATs. And these things you can kind of learn quickly and, and maybe pick up a couple of extra marks. I'm going to talk about where, this, where these things appear in the curriculum and um, stick around if you can till the end of the video because I'll be talking about a particular resource that we use as teachers um, that you can get also online which is really helpful uh, and you could use potentially in the next couple of weeks to help your child just do a little bit more of last minute preparation. Um, thank you for all the people who have subscribed to the channel so far. I really appreciate your support and hit the like button also. All right, let's get into it then. Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Once again, thank you for joining me. I hope you find this video useful. Um, the idea behind the video is to try and give you um, a few hints and tips on how to solve questions that are to do with angles, okay? This is something that will come up in the SATs possibly, um, has come up a couple of, it will, it comes up pretty much every year. Um, there is at least one question on angles. Um, so let me just run through this PowerPoint quickly on how to uh, how you can go about what you, what you need to know basically. Um, so what does the national curriculum say first of all? So um, it says the children need to be able to uh, know angles are measured in degrees, estimate and compare acute, obtuse and reflex angles. I'll talk about these words in a minute. Uh, draw given angles and measure them in degrees. Okay, so they need to be able to draw angles and measure them um, and understand that a, a whole turn is 360 degrees, um, angles, uh, a half turn is 180 degrees, and then other angles in multiples of 90, which 90 is a quarter turn, and also the measurement for a right angle. Um, they also need to be able to uh, recognize angles where they meet at a point, are on a straight line, or are vertically opposite, and find missing angles. So if you've got um, angles within a, a straight line, they should be able to find the missing the values of the missing angles um, when added up to 180. Okay, so I'm going to go straight into this now. First of all, um, acute angles. Apologies for this bar down here. Let me just move this out of the way so we can see. Um, so acute angles are smaller than a right angle, a right angle being 90 degrees. Um, yeah, so they're less, less than a 90 degree angle and they're called acute angles. Now we have a little joke in class. We say, oh, the angles are cute, okay, like they're small. So if you're looking for angles that where the crocodile's mouth, mouth hasn't opened very widely, that shows you that it's a cute angle. But just one misconception, it doesn't mean that the picture of the, the image of the angle is small, because you could have a really big picture where the crocodile's mouth is only open slightly, but it's that space in between. So if you look at these pictures here, these are all acute angles, um, defined by the fact that they're all less than 90 degrees. Um, if you imagine a 90 degree, degree angle, a right angle is like the shape of an L. So any angle that's less than the shape of an L like this, that's going to be an acute angle. And children need to be able to recognize that. OK, so next we've got angles that are greater than 90 degrees. Um, greater than a right angle, greater than 90 degrees. And we call these obtuse angles. OK, that's where the where the crocodile's mouth is open wider than an L shape. OK, it's about like this size. OK, anything wider than an L shape, that's called an obtuse angle. Um, and here you can see a few different images of obtuse angles. Um, now, also, they've confused, tried to confuse you here also by putting the angles at different orientations. This one looks like it's upside down. This one's sort of facing downwards as well. But if you turn, turn the screen or turn the paper, which it was on, you would see that that is less than 90, well, it's more than 90 degrees, sorry, and it's called an obtuse angle. Okay, so um, during the SATs test, um, the children will be provided with a ruler and a protractor for them to be able to measure angles, but also draw angles as well. So they are allowed these two pieces of equipment in the test. And I'm going to just go through in this video how they can measure and draw angles. So um, one thing that not, not a lot of people know is that the middle point the center of protractor is called the origin. And this is important because they need to be able to place the origin in the correct uh, place on the line 
okay and we should be placing the origin on the vertex or the corner where the two lines meet okay now one thing that i have seen children do if they've never really seen a protractor before not had a lot of experience measuring angles they have no idea where to place this so it must be placed where the two lines meet so here you can see all right you've got the baseline of the angle here and where the two lines meet right here in the center that's the origin the origin has to be placed where those two lines meet and if we do that then we should be able to measure the angle accurately and if i go along here um, i can see that it's an acute angle because it's going to be less than 90 okay a 90 degree angle would be up here and the crocodile's mouth is only open slightly so i don't want to use the outside because it's definitely not 150 degrees 160 because they're all more than 90 so it must be this inner inner one here so i'm going to count around 10 20 30 it's between 30 and 40 so i would say i would estimate okay that the angle the the size of that angle will be about 35 degrees okay so that's a quick thing on how to measure angles i'm going to show you this in an actual paper in a minute um, here you can see a different size angle this is a obtuse angle okay yeah obtuse because it's larger than 90 it's larger than that l shape okay uh, the crocodile's mouth you might say is opened wider than a 90 degree angle um, and this time if we look um, if we know it's obtuse we know it's going to be more than 90 i'm not going to look at the inner circle here where it says 40 because that's less than 90 isn't it we're looking for a number that's more than 90 and if i count round from 90 i've got 100 110 120 130 140 okay so i'm using that outer circle now and a good estimate an accurate reading of that protractor for that angle would be 140 degrees okay so what about if we've been asked in a paper to draw an angle like it says in the national curriculum the children should be able to do this okay so imagine we had to draw a 50 degree angle now first of all in my head i should be thinking well 50 degrees it's less than 90 so it's gonna be less than the l shape all right and i could probably estimate how it might look so here you've got a picture of an angle okay less than 90 degrees whoops just got back a second so if we do if we follow this in steps first step would be to draw a line so the children would draw a line okay sometimes it tells them they need to draw a line of a certain length okay which i'll show you after this uh, but this 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 you don't have to do it a certain length you could just draw a line okay if you're just measuring an angle then once again the origin okay if you remember we placed it where the two lines met so here we need to place it at the end of the line where our second line is going to start now we have a choice okay once we place the protractor in that in that position we're either going to draw we're going to look at the outer circle and and measure an angle 50 using this this mark here or we're going to use this mark here now go back to what i said at the beginning imagine what the angle would look like it's acute so it's going to be less than 90 isn't it so i can't use the outer circle here all right that's going to be that would make an obtuse angle so i'm going to use this inner circle so i can see that 50 is over there the next thing to do is to take my pencil and mark at the end of the protractor where that angle would be so just here sometimes you like to do a little mark or a little small line okay so you know whereabouts you should be drawing the angle from once you've made that mark okay you would take the protractor off and then the last thing you would need to do is draw a line from the mark to the bottom um, where the end of the line is and once you've joined that up you'll have your 50 degree angle so there's the steps that you would take to draw an angle okay draw a baseline step one step two put the origin of the protractor at the end of the line imagine what the uh, angle would look like 50 degree angle it's going to be acute it's going to be smaller than 90 so i'm going to use the inner circle then i mark it off then i put draw a line measured from that mark to the to the end of the line and then i've got my 50 degree angle okay fantastic so there's a quick rundown of some of the things that they will need to know based on the national curriculum now in the next part of the video i'm going to show you how you would apply this to some of the sats questions thanks for watching hiya so here we have a question that we might need to use our angles knowledge to be able to solve uh, this is a sats style question okay in a sats practice uh, paper and it says look at the shape below how many right angles are there in the shape well first of all um, the children should have been taught that a right angle uh, is easily recognizable one because it looks like an l it's in the shape of an l but also any right angle should be marked with this sort of small square inside the corner okay you can see this side does not have it but this side does so this should be an easy one mark question here but 
it should, should be an easy mark to pick up how many right angles are there in this shape and i can see that that one is a right angle that's not that's definitely not and that definitely isn't either okay so that i would write down here that there's one right angle how many obtuse angles are there in this shape now if you remember from the other part of the video that i talked about obtuse angles being larger than a right angle larger than 90 degrees so we're looking for an angle that is larger where the um, crocodile's mouth, you might say, is open wider than this, okay? Now, if we look over here, this looks like, I mean, the children might think, oh, that's a big angle. Look, look at the size of this that's part of the shape. But if you look here, this is not open very much, okay? This mouth here, the crocodile's mouth, is not open very much, okay? And if they really wanted to, they could take their protractor, just like I showed in the video, place the origin on the baseline here where the two lines meet. And if they read up this line here, they can see that it is actually less than 90. So it's not more than 90, it's less than 90. So it's an acute angle. So that's not obtuse, so that's one. That's not obtuse, that's not obtuse. Is that obtuse? Well, what they should really do is turn the paper around or you can place your uh, protractor here on the baseline and look across. And actually the line here is going more than 90, isn't it? So if I was to turn my paper around, I would be able to see that this here, this is actually more than 90 degrees. Okay, so that space there is more than 90. So that would be one obtuse angle. And then I would do the same over here. I would place my protractor on the baseline and I would turn my paper around so that I could see it. But I should be able to see that this space here, if I read up there, it's actually past 90, isn't it? And it's gone all the way over here to what looks like 120. So this also is an obtuse angle. So they, they might be able to tell just by looking and seeing that they're both wider than an L shape, that they that um, that they can see that they're wider, that, that it's, it's the crocodile's mouth has opened more. But if they're not sure, still not sure, they can measure these two angles and see that they're obtuse. They're more than 90. So how many obtuse angles are there in the shape? Two. And just from those, that simple bit of knowledge, they've gained an extra two marks on their reasoning paper. Second question that I want to show you where they'll have to use their angles knowledge. Again, a SAT style question, something that could come up in the paper. Okay, and it says, um, here is a sketch of a triangle. Um, it is not drawn to scale. Draw a full size triangle accurately below using a ruler and a protractor angle measurer. Okay, that's this here one line has been drawn for you. So first of all, you can see that the, the baseline here is 10 centimeters. It's saying that this shape is not drawn to scale and to be able to get two marks here, I need to draw this shape to scale underneath and they've given me a space. Now, fortunately for me, they've drawn the bottom line, 10 centimeters. And that's where the ruler comes in handy because I can see by measuring it on the ruler that this line here, it is 10 centimeters, okay? So that is 10 centimeters. All right, I can just double check. Okay, great. Now, if you remember from the other video, how am I going to measure this angle? Well, I'm gonna take my protractor, you take the origin, and I'm gonna place it right here at the end of the line. And that's where I'm gonna place it in order to measure my first angle. Now, what's the size of the angle? They should need to look up here, 75 degrees. So it's less than 90, it's going to be acute. So I know that it's gonna be smaller. Um, I'm, and I'm going to look now on my protractor. If I look up here, um, there's 90, now 75. So I'm going to go around. Now, if I use the inner circle, it goes 180, 170. It's going to be too big, so I need to use the outer circle. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 is here. Oh, careful. Make sure the protractor doesn't move. And then between 70 and 80, I've got 75. So I'm going to put, just like it was doing the video, a small mark there to show whereabouts the angle needs to be. And then I'm going to take my ruler and should I draw a line from this dot to this? Well, yes, I should, but also it needs to be drawn to scale. So this line needs to measure 5.5 centimeters. So what then I then do is I take my ruler, I set it at that angle to make sure that it's running through that mark that I've made. And I need a line that's 5.5. So one centimeter, two, three, four, five, 5.5 5 is going to be about here. 
near where I made the mark on my protractor. Maybe they did that on purpose for me so that I'd make it easier. And now I can draw in that line to the other one. And then I shouldn't need to do anything else apart from draw this down here to make that line. And just to make sure that I've got this right, I'm going to take my protractor again. I'm going to place the origin where the two lines meet. And I'm just going to check the size of that angle. And from what I can see, perfect 75 degrees. So I'll just mark that. I could even do 75 degrees here. And 10 centimeters. Do I want to double check that this is 5.5? Let me just check. Yes, I'm happy with that. So I should have got the full two marks for this answer. Now in the mark scheme, it does say that there is some margin for error and they probably would accept angles that were between 72 and 77 degrees. So to either side of 75 and they might perhaps accept that this line might be slightly bigger or smaller than 5.5 degrees. OK, but if it's drawn accurately to scale like this, they would have got the two marks. All right, hope you enjoyed this quick win video. I'm going to be doing more videos on how you can get a few quick, um, easy marks on that maths paper too to help your child improve their SAT score. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe to the video uh, because it really helps out our channel. Thank you. Hey, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. So I just wanted to share with you a resource that teachers tend to use with the classes at this time of year just to get a bit of extra SATs practice in before the SATs start in a couple of weeks time okay and these are cgp packs all right these are available on the cgp website um, you can get them for maths you can get them for english you can get them for grammar um, they're great they have inside um, about two papers so they have two papers for the reading um, in the maths ones you've got two arithmetic you've got two reasoning and you've got two um reasoning paper three in, in there. So if I just open this one up, I can give you a quick look inside. Um, so we've got the arithmetic paper in here, a reasoning paper, um, paper two. Okay, don't forget they do three maths papers. They've got a reasoning paper three. Okay, and then they've got another maths arithmetic. They've got another reasoning paper two, and they've got another reasoning paper three. So you get two sets in there. Um, they're really good value for money, especially if you're buying a couple of packs. And yeah, just visit the CGP website to find those. Because um, once you've used all of the um, pack, the, the, the free online materials, um, there isn't very much else out there. OK, whereas these packs are really good. All right. They arrive fairly quickly in the post and you also get a mark scheme with them so that you can mark them with your children at home together. And you also... Um, get a breakdown um, with pupil friendly answers so the children could actually mark them themselves as well which is really handy especially if you're a busy parent so they're cgp packs look for them on the cgp website um, you're not buying the books you're buying packs and inside they have practice sats papers they've got maths they've got reading and they've got grammar so there's a really useful resource for you if you're looking to get some extra practice in before the sats begin thank you for watching this video Please subscribe if you're not already. Thank you if you are subscribed to our channel. Um, and yeah, keep, keep watching for more videos on primary education. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.